you can just watch it melt. Hi, my name is Greg Weitzman. We are at the Santa Barbara Sheriff's Department Air Support Unit Hangar. And uh, this is one of our OH-58s that uh, has an extensive uh, oil and carbon uh, output. And I just sprayed this elevator with Clino just one time. This is a four to one mixture. And it just takes everything off just with one swipe. That's everything that came off. And then we have some baked on carbon on the other half of this elevator. It's hard to see. It's hard to see probably with the lighting, but you'll see it takes all this carbon right off too. And that's been baked on from the exhaust? Yep. And the temperature on the exhaust is? Well, I don't know what it, how hot it is when it comes out. I know I wouldn't want to have my hand there, but uh, it, it just it accumulates on this underside. And then uh, it works its way back, and you see this antenna back here. Should be a, a pretty good coating of carbon and, and oil on this antenna. We'll just spray it once. And then I'll start with a clean section here. You can just see it dripping right. Oh my gosh, what a difference. That's everything that just came off of that one swipe. So this stuff uh, works way better than the previous aircraft wash that we have. Uh, it smells better, it's not bad for our hands. So uh, we're, we're pretty convinced that uh, this is a good product and, and we like it a lot. Okay, this is the Clino guy. We're at Santa Barbara County Sheriff's helicopter hangar. Remember you can Check Clino out at Clino.net. <clears throat> We're going to do a little more cleaning now. This area right here gets a bunch of grease and oil. So one swipe, and in here is really dirty. Because that boot's leaking a little bit of grease. And it's even handling the boot grease. And it's all gone. It's all gone. Beautiful. How many... Uh, Hours a month does this do your birds average as uh, far as uh, flying? Well, during the uh, summer months right now, we're probably averaging uh, anywhere from two to four hours a day on any given day. Oh. Yesterday, all of our aircraft combined, we had about four hours of flight time yesterday between all five of our aircraft. Um, so that was that was probably four hours of flight time for two aircraft. We had almost three in this one, and we had one or one and a half in our one of our Hueys on a medical call. So it, it's like anything. Any given day, we could have no calls, or we could have five calls. That's police work for you. That's police work. Hey, Greg, on on this on the boom here, mm -hmm. I see the area where there's still got some grime on it. You're going to clean that. Do you normally just hand clean this section, or you use it, put your Clino in a bucket and wash it with a. Uh, uh, wet, a wet rag or a mop or any kind of brush or how do you normally clean it? So we do both. We'll, okay. uh, we'll dilute a cleaning solution in a bucket and use our aircraft brushes and actually wash the aircraft with deionized water. Uh, but we'll also on pre-flight, I like to hit all these areas and clean everything up pretty well, especially in this back area to keep an eye on what's leaking and what's not. So I had just missed this area earlier when we were cleaning. I wasn't really worrying about the tail boom. But, uh, yeah, because there's yeah, some up on top of the yep, antenna yep. also. So there's some days where I'll just come out here and clean the whole thing with a with a rag and a spray spray container. So but, we uh, can see how before and after in one shot, spray on, wipe off. This is all this is all mostly carbon residue from the exhaust. We'll do this section right here. You can kind of see where I did it before. <clears throat> just so heavy. I've had other helicopter pilots tell me after they use the Clino on it, it kind of leaves a, a waxy feeling, almost uh, almost like an Armorall type of finish, and it doesn't attract dirt and dust as much either. 
Have you found that to be true? It's just a clean finish. Okay. Um, the, the thing that really impressed me about Clino is uh, we have a new aircraft uh, that came online in October of 2012. Fresh paint, it was a completely overhauled Super Huey, but it had a section on the tail boom that had kind of a scuffing that something occurred during the uh, tack shooting in the painting process, something got onto the clear coat. And we tried our normal aircraft wash and it didn't touch it. I even tried some rubbing compound and it really didn't work. And when I first became exposed to Clino, I tried it on it and it, it took this mark off and that's really what changed the whole game for me in that Clino was really a, a good product because it took this mark off that I tried three other things on. So, Very nice. Yeah, and, and we'll go out and look at that. And good. Show you a picture of that. Okay, here's Clino Man signing off and uh, we'll catch you back up on the uh, Super Huey 3 in a few minutes.